Welcome along to the Met Office 10-day trend and uh, welcome along to May, a month where the longer range forecasts always are that little bit more, more tricky to pin down. And one of the reasons for that is the jet stream this month tends to have a bit of a break. It becomes generally less active and a bit harder to nail down. This is the bigger picture and showing the jet stream, that fast moving ribbon of air high up in the atmosphere. It's almost circulating around on itself at the moment. And there's a low pressure system in here out to the west of the UK. Now that kind of breaks down that weather pattern over the next couple of days. And then we have almost two feeds but two weak feeds of the jet stream as we head through the next four or five days. And remember, it's the jet stream that drives our weather systems. So when the jet stream is weak and meandering, our weather patterns become fairly slow moving and often reasonably inactive. So let's rewind the clock and see what that means for our low level weather patterns. The pressure pattern, as I said, the circulation allowing this low pressure to just kind of mill around to the west of the UK. But it's actually this low pressure being pushed up from the south by an arm of the jet stream that's more influencing our weather over the next couple of days before one of those weaker bands of the jet pushes another little low up across the UK into the weekend. That's the one that's giving us quite a few headaches for this weekend. And of course, it is a bank holiday. We will get to more of that in just a moment. But uh, again, let's rewind the clock and look at the shorter term because this low coming up from France is bringing with it some pretty warm air, some heavy downpours through Wednesday nights, a couple of Met Office warnings in place for thunderstorms, some intense rain, lots of flashes of lightning, a lot of spray and surface water on the roads across the south for Thursday morning. Don't normally focus in on Thursday, but wanted to show you the temperature contrast in places on Thursday because we are seeing the warmer air come up. So where we see some sunshine, 21, 22 degrees, maybe even 23 on the west coast of Scotland, whereas in the east with the easterly wind, it's going to be significantly chillier, particularly where it stays grey and on the cool side with the cloud and the rain across the southwest. So quite a lot going on with our weather on Thursday. By the time we get to Friday, well, we're going to see that low coming up from the southeast, bringing further pulses of heavy, even thundery rain through the night and during the course of the day. It should be a bit brighter in the southwest and again, probably a fine day on the west coast of Scotland. So this low pressure bringing some heavy downpours during Friday and then eyes down to the southwest, that low I talked about earlier being pushed along by that reasonably weak jet stream as we head towards Saturday and Sunday, probably even into Monday as well. Now, it looks reasonably potent on these graphics. There are quite a few isobars around it, certainly initially. But because that jet stream is, is fairly weak, uh, some of the computer models really struggling to identify exactly where this low pressure is going to be. It must emphasize there is a lot of uncertainty at this stage about the weekend, more so than usual. And let's have a look at some of the computer output. This is the Met Office model, the one I've just shown you, but now in kind of black and white with that low pressure. This is midday on Saturday down to the southwest with quite a few isobars uh, coming around it. So reasonably potent feature. The European model has low pressure in a similar position, although it is further southwest and it doesn't have as many isobars, so it's not as intense. And that's the big question mark, because if it's slower to come up like this one, then many places will still be fine on Saturday. But if it's quicker to come up, then certainly across the south, we will see increasing breeze and some outbreaks of rain during Saturday. Let's compare those two main models, the Met Office model and the European model for Sunday. And well, by this stage, that low pressure is really losing its identity. You can still just about make it out in there. It's still there in the ECMWF, the European model as well, but it is further south. And by the time we get to Monday, well, the pressure patterns are what we describe as flabby, where there's not many isobars around. It is a bit of a mishmash, generally low pressure still dominating, so likely to stay fairly showery. But there are some discrepancies in the way the computer models are handling when we compare the two. And of course, if you're a regular viewer of the 10-day trend, you'll know that we don't just compare 
one run of computer models. We run the models many, many times in what's called an ensemble forecast. And this is a plot uh, of what you can get from the European model when we run them many, many times. Now, this is showing the same time frame, Saturday, and you can see the isobars for the main run here. But each of these black dots is when you run the model many times, a position of that low. And you can see there's not a lot of agreement. The UK is under here, that main run keeping the low down to the southwest, but other runs of the European model have that low in a similar position to the Met Office model. So further in across southern England and some of them even as far east as East Anglia. So this is quite a broad range of where that low pressure could be. We're talking well, only three or four days ahead. So that is more uncertain than usual. There's uh, less what we call confidence in the forecast than usual. And it's a similar picture if you look at Sunday. Again, where is that low going to be? By then, the low is pretty diffuse anyway, but it could be clearing away from eastern parts of England, but it could also be down further south and west across the UK. So as I said, more uncertainty than usual in the forecast. And that is shown by this graph here, the confidence index. Often meteorologists and forecasters talk about how confident they are in a weather forecast. And sometimes the forecast is reasonably straightforward and we have high confidence. But this weekend we have unusually low confidence. So this graph is showing the time going forward there along the bottom and the index going up to one, 100% 1, confident at the top there. And in the shorter term, well, that's where we're at or, or close to. This dotted line is the average. And as you would expect with forecasts going forward, you'd expect the, the confidence in them to drop off naturally. But this line is showing what the actual forecast is for the most recent run from the European model. Green is slightly above average, but red is below average. And look at that drop, just drops off just as we get to the bank holiday weekend. The confidence really plummets. It's unusual to see this uh, level uh, of, of low confidence, if you like, in the forecast in this reasonably short time frame ahead. So it is giving us a few headaches. As I say, there's like to be low pressure nearby, but exactly where and when we see the rain this weekend. It's just too early to say. So one of the key messages I want to get across is actually it's likely to be mixed. That's one thing we do know about the bank holiday weekend. But please do stay up to date over the next couple of days. One of those where your app is going to tell you something and then six hours later it will tell you something else. So do keep up to date with the forecast. Best way to do that is to stay tuned to Met Office output and keep up to date with our YouTube forecast. We can say there's likely to be some rain with low pressure nearby, but it's not going to rain everywhere, far from it. And it's now May, so when the sun is out, and because our air is coming up from the southwest, it is likely to feel quite warm when the sun is shining. Question is, where will the sun be shining? As I said, for details on that, really need to stay up to date. This is the, this is the Met Office model then for Sunday with that low pressure edging in and those weather fronts around. But that does kind of fizzle out, keeping pressure generally low as we head into Bank Holiday Monday, which is likely to be a showery day. But notice there is a ridge of high pressure just trying to topple in. And that is a sign perhaps of things to come beyond the bank holiday. Yes, higher pressure is likely to, to move in during the second half of next week. That's what this is showing. Blue is low pressure dominating. Red is high pressure dominating. Now the dates going forward are along the top. Previous computer model runs down the side here. And what we can see is reasonably strong signal over recent model runs of a bit of a switch. Yes, low pressure is going to dominate for the next few days and through the bank holiday weekend. But reasonable signal there as things getting redder from Wednesday through to Thursday that higher pressure in some form, and that's crucial, in some form is likely to move in through at least the second half of next week and probably dominate through the following weekend as well. This is, again, from the European model, the most likely scenario for next Wednesday with high pressure in here. But say it's most likely, it still is only a 25% probability. So that means there's a 75% chance or a three in four that it will look somewhat different to this. So that's what we're talking about when our, our confidence is dropping off a little bit. But we are reasonably happy that some form of the high pressure will sit, but the position of the high will dictate where the winds are coming from. And as we've seen over recent weeks, that really will determine the feel of the weather. Because if the high pressure 
is sitting out to the west that will generate more northerly winds. If it's sitting a little further east, it could generate some southerly winds and that will, as I say, dictate the feel of the weather. So what we can say about the second half of next week is yes, confidence remains reasonably low, but higher pressure is more likely than low pressure and higher pressure is where the air is sinking. So that brings out a greater chance of drier weather. But the wind direction, the position of the high will be crucial to how the weather feels. So also for uh, conditions, individual days next week, do stay tuned to the forecast because although the confidence does get back closer to average and actually it gets into the green again for the following weekend, it is still reasonably low through next week, just not as below the average as it will be through the weekend. OK, plenty to talk about then. And as I said, please do keep up to date, particularly if you've got plans through this bank holiday weekend. And the best way to do that, of course, is to uh, hit subscribe on our YouTube channel.